Good morning, yogis. I'm glad you're here. I wanted to say a few things about some changes that I'm making in the channel. And I thought we'd actually start with breathing and moving together. And I want this to be really playful because it, this, this can become part of your personal yoga practice. And your personal yoga practice, yoga means union. And so it's really a personal practice of, of being with yourself, of coming home to yourself. And that allows us to enter the day, if we do it in the morning or, and re-enter the day at any other time, dropping our masks and our armor and uh, coming to whatever we have in our lives, much less defended. And it's such a freeing way to be. And that's the point of yoga, is liberation, is freedom. Freedom to choose and to experiment and then to observe and choose again. That's the whole thing. So with that said, I am going to step a little bit wide and then just start turning my rib cage relative to my pelvis and let my arms strike my body wherever they land. This is a great way to start the day. This is actually a Qigong called, well, uh, in English, a lot of people call it empty coat arms. Taught to me by my Sifu, my Tai Chi teacher, 20 odd years ago. And then you can experiment with turning your hips at the same time and notice how that feels in your knees and your ankles. You can experiment with keeping your head forward and turning just your rib cage, or keeping your head forward and let everything turn. And this is really part of what a personal yoga practice is all about. Some days you need something that you feel really good at. Inhaling and lifting up, exhaling back down. And so you can do the things that give you a feeling of mastery in being in your body. You could just lay your hands on your heart. You could find your internal mountain. And then lift up and then fold forward. And see how it feels to be doing something that you feel really confident about. Inhale, upward facing hands. Exhaling back to center. Other days, you might want to try doing something that you feel less confident about. One-legged balance poses are often that for many of us. Or maybe it's moving your arms in these postures. Or allowing yourself to come up with a dance. Other days, we just want to explore something new. Your personal yoga practice goes together with your lead yoga practices, what you might call classes, to really form a conversation that you get to have with yourself. And that's the point. This body, it's not for us to control. This body is for us to understand. And so in a personal yoga practice, we can have a conversation and bring joy, understanding, appreciation, experimentation. Feel what it's like. Notice the differences between sides. We can play. And who among us couldn't use a little more play in our lives? So I hope this very brief breathing and moving practice with some reflections about what personal yoga practice is really all about was helpful. Happy Yoga Day. <laughs>